Everyone's buzzing about Verseps new Mac app called Vi. And honestly, I can see why. I've been testing this thing for weeks, and it's basically trying to replace every click, shortcut, and menu navigation you've ever done with just your voice. <clears throat> Here's what Vi actually is. Forget the marketing fluff. It's a native Mac app that uses AI to understand what's on your screen and control any software through natural language. You literally just tell it what you want to do, and it does it. No clicking, no memorizing keyboard shortcuts, no digging through menus. Sounds too good to be true, right? Let's be real, though. This isn't just another voice assistant. Vi uses something called Vi UI, which combines screen vision with natural language processing. It can actually see what's on your screen and interact with UI elements just like you would. That's pretty wild when you think about it. The pricing situation is refreshingly straightforward. It's completely free right now. No freemium nonsense, no hidden costs. Just download and use it. Now, will that change as they develop it further? Probably. But for now, you're getting full access without paying anything. Here's what surprised me most about using Vi. The accuracy is genuinely impressive. I told it to create a new document in Pages, format some text, even move files around in Finder, and it just worked. The AI doesn't just understand what you're saying, it understands the context of what you're trying to accomplish. But here's where it gets interesting. Most users are saying the same thing. This feels like using a computer from the future. One person on Product Hunt said it completely changed how they think about productivity software. Another mentioned they barely touch their mouse anymore for routine tasks. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is still early stage tech. Vercept just raised $16 million with backing from some serious players, including folks from Google and Dropbox. That tells me they're serious about this, but it also means you're essentially beta testing the future of computing. The biggest complaint I'm seeing, it's Mac only. If you're on Windows or Linux, you're out of luck for now. Also, since it's analyzing everything on your screen, privacy-conscious users might feel a bit uneasy. The app runs locally on your machine, which is good, but it's still watching everything you do. Here's what nobody tells you about Vi, though. It works best with apps you use regularly. If you're jumping between obscure software or using highly customized interfaces, you might run into hiccups. The AI is smart, but it's not magic. I'll be straight with you. This feels like one of those moments where you're witnessing a genuine shift in how we interact with computers. It's not perfect, but it's pointing towards something bigger. The fact that it's free right now makes it a no-brainer to try if you're on Mac. My honest take? If you're someone who spends hours a day on your Mac doing repetitive tasks, V could genuinely change your workflow. It's not going to replace learning your software, but it might make you forget why you ever thought clicking through menus was normal. The bottom line is this. Vercept is betting that the future of computing is conversational, not mechanical. After using V for a few weeks, I think they might be right. It's free, it works surprisingly well, and it's giving us a glimpse into what productivity software could look like in a few years. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.